What's better than a train? A space train! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Leader Class Astro Train. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, as always, we have some assemblage there in the background. Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. His name is Astro Train Transformers. Nice out of the box. As always, we have the lovely, lovely Siege artwork on the other side of the box. We have some nice artwork here of Astro Train himself. He has a leader class, a class A leader, a leader class A, and a class A leader. On the bottom, warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the top, Transformers, Wolf Cybertron Trilogy, Subcon Symbol. <laughs> Obligatory product shots, stuff, things, things, stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Astro Train, the next of the leader class toys in this Siege line. It's basically a Voyager with some extra stuff. Call it what it is. But here is Astro Train in his shuttle mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some silver up front there for the cockpits. You do have the uh, Siege battle damage going on right up top there. You got the nice dark gray and purple paint scheme. That is Astro Train. You got some yellow and red going on there. Subcon symbols there on the wings. We do have some nice molded detail here. In the back, you got the triple thrusters done in silver. And there is the top. There is the bottom. Um, one thing that is weird about the shuttle mode is that it does look very unfinished. It definitely looks very. It, it looks weird. It's like, you're, like, the front half looks great, but then you get back here and it's like, what happened? What's going on here? Where's, where's the rest of it? It's like, I, I, I can imagine, like, you know, the people who make shuttles at NASA, uh, you know, were on the time crunch and they were like, look, 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 we, we, we finished the front part of the shuttle. The back part, it'll stay together. We think, but it's not going to look pretty. It's, and that just seems like what happened here. It's just kind of like they, they didn't have time to finish the, the, the rest of the shuttle and just kind of left all the stuff just kind of exposed. It just, it looks kind of weird, but it is what it is. The shuttle mode is definitely the weakest of the modes, but uh, it is what it is. Maybe a DNA or some other third party company will just make a little shell or something, just kind of plug on here just to kind of make this look a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more complete. But, you know, again, it is what it is. But hey, he slides as sliding things should, as flying sliding space things should. There are wheels here, but they're only on the front. So the front can roll. That's pretty much it. So there you go. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Titans Return. Astro Train. So you can see how that works out. Whoosh. And here he is with G1 Astro Train because he's precious. Oh, so precious. And here he is with Titans Return Blitzwing. And with Octane. And with Leader Class Shockwave. There you go. So now let's talk about accessories. Uh, Astro Train here does come with a uh, kind of a trailer here, a caboose, if you will. And then that dark gray and purple there. Got some wheels on the bottom, wheels on the top. Nice rolly things. Things that do roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. But the cool thing about this is that you can open this up and inside are all of his weapons. So you open this up, and this is pretty cool. I do quite dig this. You open all this up, and in here are all of his weapons. So we have these two guns here. Let's just peg in to the sides. They're just done in black. You get this big old kind of like Gatling gun going on here. Again, just all done in black. You get this big old cannon right here. And you also get missile rack going on there as well. That's pretty cool. 
I like that. And we can take this stuff if you want, and we can uh, arm up the shovel mode. Now, per the instructions, now granted you can plug this stuff wherever you want, but per the instructions, you plug that there, you tank these guns, and they plug into the sides, into the wings, like that. And then you take this one, plug that up there, you take this one and plug that there, and now you have a fully armed up shuttle. And you have ports back here also, so again, you can plug these things pretty much where you want, so you can have an armed up shuttle there. So hey, things you can do if you want to do them. And one thing you can do with this is you can take these sections here, bring them forward, and the shuttle just kind of sits on here like that, and that's what the instructions tell you to do. <laughs> it's just a little, little platform for it to sit on, you know, hey, thing you can do if you want to do it, or you can swing these out and this comes down and these three posts will plug in to the thrusters back here. So you can take this and just plug it on like so and just give it a turn and you can have a launch pad going on. You can have that again, thing you can do if you want to do it. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? And of course if you want you can uh, Use the uh, effects parts, because he is Bloosh compatible. Of course he's Bloosh compatible, but you know, you can kind of plug these in here. We have to kind of take them apart here, but we can, you know, do that, do that, maybe do that up here, you know, plug that up there somehow, some way, have them Bloosh, have them Bloosh into space or whatever, you know, we can figure out a way to work that. I think maybe a better way, maybe using these like that. Like that. But again, you know, just do it however you want. Like that. There you go. That's a better blushing. There you go. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. As always, blushing. Blushing to be had. So that is basically it for the shuttle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so to get him into train mode, we're going to start off by coming back here and undoing this thruster section here. Untab that, so you can then take this tail fin and just undo that, just kind of clips in in between his arms there, so just bring that down, and then take this entire assembly here, take this and swing all this down. Hey, how you doing? And then we just take these panels here, bring them to the sides, like so, they will tab into place, and then we can take this and we can clip this back in place, like so, and once We've done that. You just take the wings and just collapse them down and bring them over because this little tab is going to go right in there. Bring that over and let your tab in like so. Bring that down, bring that over, tab that in like that. And now we're going to come to the front section here and we're going to take these sections and just bring them out. We're going to split all of this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the section here, rotate it around like so. Come in here, flip out this bit, and then we're gonna take this section here, slides down. You can see it here, it's on a slider. Push that down until it clicks into place right there. And then you got that all done. Same thing on the other side, second vest, just like the vest, just rotate that around and flip that out, and then just slide this section down like so until it clicks into place. And then we can just peg all of this back together, like so, get all nice and squozen. And then we can just take these sections here and bring them back and tap all this back together. So these sections here, you're just going to bring out to the side and that will give the section a clearance to swing around. Then you can bring this down the rest of the way and there's Little tab in here is going to go right in there, so just kind of get everything lined up. And that's just like that. Second vest, just like the first, just bring that down, swing that around, and just bring that down. Tab all that into place. Again, get everything nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have the train mode. And the train mode definitely looks good. The train mode is definitely the strongest of the two alt modes here. And looks pretty good in my opinion. But well, you're getting close here so we can take a look at those details. You got silver there for the light. This section here does not want to plug in fully. I always get a little bit of a gap there, but that's fine. 
Need a little bit of silver there. Set the con symbols there on the sides. You get some nice gunmetal gray going down here. These little bits going down the sides. And you can see you do have all rolling wheels, even the little front ones, all roll. Some gunmetal gray there for the windows. You can see a lot of nice detail going on. And again, you got the thrusters there in the back. You can kind of see now you have visible head syndrome. Hi, how you doing? There you go. How you guys roll? As rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is again with the Titan's Return Astro Train. With G1 Astro Train because it's precious. Oh, that's just so precious. And with Titan's Return Blitzwing and Octane. So there you have that. And in train mode, we can give him his caboose here. Just bring this in, and again, it'll just plug into the back, like so. So you can give the train some extra length there if you want. And of course, we can arm all of this up. We can take the missile racks. And again, I'm doing this per the instructions, but you can orient this stuff however you want. Put that there, and we can take these guns, and they can plug in the sides. Like so, and like so. And we're going to take this, plug it up here, take this one, plug it right there. And there you have your armed up train. And that looks pretty cool. I dig that. I quite dig that. I think the train mode, like I said, is definitely the strongest of his two alt modes. So yeah, me likes. Me likes very much. So that is it for the train mode. So let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Hey! It's the train spins a lot better. So, to get him into robot mode, we're just going to take this up here and just kind of untab that, bring this up halfway so this can swing around. Right back, same thing on the other side, just kind of untab that, bring this out so we can swing this around like so, and then just untab the wings, bring them out, bring it out. And what are we going to do? Ah, we'll work on the legs now. We'll finish up the body later. So, you just want to undo all of this, bring it out, bring it down, and all the way. Just out enough so we can undo this. And then we're going to just fold this section in, push this section back up, rotate this back around, and then this will come down and tab in right there. Um, this section is on a hinge that allows us to angle in, and you can see there are two ports there. So you can do this however you want. If you want this sitting straight, you can totally just leave it like that, but per the instructions, they want you to angle this in and plug it into that port so it sits at an angle like that. That's a case of you can do it however you want, whatever your preference is. And then you take the foot, the foot just unplugs from there, swings around, and there's a post there that will go into this port right here, so just bring that in, and put it into place, and there you have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first, so just bring that down, bring that up, and just swing this around, put it down, put that into place, oops, and again, do whatever you want with this, but I'll do it per the instructions, and take the foot, swing it around, Plug it in, plug it in, and there you have the legs all done. And you take these little skirt pieces here, and these will just come down. And there you go. So now moving on to the upper body. I'm going to undo this section here. That will just come down like so. There are little hook tabs here that hook over these sections here. So just bring it down at an angle. And then bring it down like that, and that stays in place. Then you just take this whole backpack, just take this, bring it down on that double hinge, and that'll just clip in right back there. And now, as far as the arms go, you just want to untab the forearm here from his, from his shoulder, rotate at the bicep, flip out his hand, and then you just bring all this around, and this section will just clip in right there, just give a little push. That will clip into place right there. Again, second verse, just like the first. Just undo that, rotate. 
flip out the hand, bring that down. Again, just make sure that shoulder clips into place. And are we done? Yes, we're done. We were done. And there you have Astro Train in his robots mode. And he's a good looking G1E Astro Train. He's got some chunk to him. I, I dig him. I dig him. So that's getting close. Yes, we can take a look not at his belly. Yet. He is noggin. There's a noggin. And say so you got some nice silver over there for the face, red for the eyes, yellow there on the helmet itself. Pretty good looking head sculpts. They do have quite a bit of molded detail throughout. Got some red and that dark purple there for his abs. Purple there on the uh, forearms. Again, lots of nice detail going on. His shins are dirty, he's got dirty shins. <laughs> and his feet. And move up the back. Well, it's a pretty clean transformation. I mean, he has a typical Astro Train backpack going on there, but it all compresses up pretty well as far as I'm concerned. Now, articulation-wise, he had his only ball joint. You only get a little bit, just a little bit of wiggly-waggly, a little bit of up, a little bit of down, head. Can, of course, do a full 360, although it's a bit snug on mines. Arms can rotate, but the wings are going to kind of get in the way, but they can rotate in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have a double-jointed elbow. Uh, as far as the wrists go, you just have downward movement due to transformation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. Move this flap out of the way, so the legs can move forward that far, back. Only about that far before the wings and everything start to get in the way. Outward, he can do the full splits. He's got thigh rotation. He has 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. And his feet, um, they can't move up. You can move them down if you unpeg this section. You can have the foot moving down if you needed to. And you do have your ankle tiltage. And of course we can arm him up with any of his weapons here. But we're going to save that for later because first we're going to do some comparisons. And here he is with the Titans Return Astro Train. With G1 Astro Train because again it's just, you know what it is. It's just precious. With Blitzwing and you know we'll bring an Octane too. You can see he's actually the shortest of the three. Here he is with Megs. And here he is with Leader Shockwave. So now let's bring in the uh, the caboose here and all of his weapons because there is stuff we can do with this. Um, of course, you can have him holding any of the guns, whatever you want. You got options there, and as always, options are good. But uh, you can combine all of these weapons also, which is pretty cool. So what we do here is we take this cannon, and this will plug in underneath. So you just plug the missile racks in like so. And then you take the Gatling gun here, and that plugs into the back of that. And then you take these guns, and these will plug in to either side like that. And you just have a big ol' super mega thing of killing death. So, you know, hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And you got that going on. So, hey, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. So, <laughs> hey, that's a thing you can do if you want. But we can also take the uh, caboose here and we can kind of arm him up, kind of, sort of. It's not that successful, but hey, it's a thing you can do. So we just open all this up, open this up. This section right here will slide out like so, and these little wheels will just kind of push up like that. And then we split these, and these will plug onto the bottoms of his feet. So now he has some, uh, some Astro booties, like so. So now it makes them a little bit taller. And then you just take this section here, rotate it around. One thing, I do like the uh, the matte black plastic that they used on this also. I think it looks kind of cool. Nice little contrast, but anyway. You just bring that section down like so, and then you just take these and bring these back up. And all you do with this is this just uh, plugs onto his back like that. And it just makes a little backpack there, which 
Okay, I mean, I guess, you know, you can still take all the weapons and, and store them back there. It's a thing you can do, you know, you can still just have a little backpack there for his weapons. It's kind of weird, but, you know, okay, it'd be nice if maybe you could kind of open this up and maybe make this into some kind of, like, wing assembly or something. I don't know, you could you know, do something like that. I don't know, hey, uh, he's his own satellite, too. I don't know, but then, you know, per the instructions, that's what they want you to do. So, A, it is what it is. I'm sure you guys can come up with something a bit more creative than that. And we'll just arm him up per the instructions here. Again, you have ports pretty much everywhere. You can put these guns onto his legs if you want to. But per the instructions, you plug these onto his shoulders. Like that. You take a little missile rack deal. And that just plugs onto his form. And then you just give him... These guns right here, and there you go. There you have the uh, the Astro Train kind of you know armor mode or whatever his little his little upgrade form, I guess. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. It's not really all that successful. He just has kind of a big backpack there that does nothing except you know being storage for the weapons, but. Uh, Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> not that great, but hey, it is what it is. But of course, you know what we can do here. You, 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 you know what we can do here. Effects parts, that's right. We can bring in the effects parts. Of course, my favorites being jet fires. He does have a blushing point there on his chest. He can get blushed in the shoulder. He can get blushed here in the side as well. Blushed, that one doesn't hold too well. You can kind of get, kind of get blushed in the legs, although that post is not big enough. There we go, you can kind of get blushed in the ankle there. You know, as always, various blushing points, but of course we can take these and uh, let's see how we can make, we can, we can actually make this work, I think. We can make this work. We can make it if we try. Wait a second. We can plug that one in there. Okay, we have to do some more, uh, some rearranging here of bits and pieces, but we can make this work. We can do this. Oh, we're, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, yes, we are. And I think you already know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, we can plug these in here like so. And we can have a big old quadruple bloosh. That's too much blushing. That's too much blushing for one man. But anyway, you can do, <laughs> you can do that. It undid his backpack. That's how powerful it was. It's too much, too much blushing there. But <laughs> there, oh, there you have that. And just a couple quick comparisons here because the booties, the Astro booties, make him a little bit taller. There he is. There he is with Megs, and here he is with the armored up Shockwave. There you go. So there you have Astro Train, and he's kind of a mixed bag. I don't know. Um, you know, the, the train mode, I think, looks great. Love the train mode. The shuttle mode is definitely the weakest. It's just weird. It just looks, you know, half finished. Um, it's like a mullet. That's what it is. It's a mullet of space shuttles. It's like business in the front, party in the back. Doesn't quite work, but it is what it is. The robot mode, I think, looks great, but the kind of, you know, powered up, armored mode just it's just kind of weird it's just booties and a backpack that you can't even see from the front so it's just it, it doesn't really work all that well so yeah kind of a mixed bag here of positives and negatives i mean he's still a fun figure to mess with like the transformation is you know it works it, it's smooth it's fluid he's fun to mess with so he still is an enjoyable figure despite any shortcomings so there you go now, if you would like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Leader Class Astro Train. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Sweet Primus, Astro Train, it's about time you got here. Where have you been? I was stuck in traffic.
But you can fly! Airspace traffic. Uh -huh. Anyway, I had a face fling some cyber poo at the Autobots. I flung a lot too. There was so much! Yeah. Uh -huh. And they seem pretty angry about it, so uh, we may need to make a hasty retreat. That's where you come in. Yeah, sure, I can do that. As a matter of fact, I I, I think that's them. Let's go! Let's go, Astro Train! Take off! Oh, oh. We need to jettison some weight, and by that I mean you get off me! 